Tonight, as we've reported, the state recently purchased nine miles of abandoned rail to create biking and pedestrian greenway from Montclair all the way to Jersey City. One man has already been out walking the entire stretch and documenting it before it undergoes those big changes. News Channel's Brian Donahue met up with him at a spot that really overlooks it all. Here we are. I'm on top of Snake Hill, the 200 million year old flag topped crag of volcanic rock that thousands of drivers pass on the New Jersey Turnpike every day. The view is spectacular, and I'm blown away as I check another item off my Jersey bucket list. But the guy I'm with seems more than a little wistful. You're never going to see these tracks the way they were ever again. His name is Wheeler and Tabanaz, a writer and photographer who just published a new book about the abandoned rail line that stretches out before us in both directions, the old Booten Line, which, under a new state plan, will be turned into a hiker and cyclist's dream, nine miles of trails from Jersey City to Montclair, straight through the storied Meadowlands. This is it. Here's the top now. Top of New Jersey, Snake Hill. And the view is beautiful. We got the Portal Bridge project. We got the Turnpike, Eastern Spur. We got the DB Draw, decommissioned. So this is the spot. This walkway has to come across. Yes. So they got to build a bridge, essentially. There, there's already a bridge there, but it's decommissioned, and because they're having so much trouble with the portal bridge, they're going to replace that. So it doesn't make any sense to bring this old DB draw back into commission because then they're going to have problems with that, you know? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. There's no, there's no clear answer. They haven't mentioned this at any of the press conferences, how they're going to get across here. I haven't heard anyone mention what they're going to do with this uh, Hackensack River crossing for the Greenway. I, there may be a plan in place, but if there is, I don't know what it is. But I mean, look at the view from here. Oh my God. could open these landscapes up to thousands. But Wheeler, a well-known urban explorer who writes for Weird New Jersey magazine, has been pretty happy to have it mostly to himself. It's already a greenway. The, I, when, when the tracks were abandoned and they didn't use it for trains anymore, all this lush vegetation grew up. There was animals taking sanctuary all along the line. I saw it. In 2021, he walked the entire nine miles, documenting it all in a book, Walking the Old Booten Line, and a film which you can watch on YouTube. Both the book and the view from up here show both how spectacular the Greenway could be and also how tricky it will be for planners and engineers to build. The trail will have to somehow cross the Hackensack River here, and the old train route along this 130-year-old swing bridge that's been open since it was decommissioned in 2002 is probably not an option. Maybe you could be the, the ferryman. <laughs> they come, they, they put a little coin in your cup, and you ferry them across. Yeah, I'll be like, I'm Sharon, welcome. <laughs> come across the River Styx. If engineers eventually figure that out, Wheeler's book does show what an amazing trip it will be, even if, once it's open, the man who loves it most probably won't ever want to walk it again. These tracks here that I'm walking in Kearney are the same tracks I've been walking in Montclair, where I live. And, you know, it just, I don't know, to me that meant something. I'm not sure what it meant, but it kept me coming back for more and more and more. The last train to use these tracks was in 2002, and they've been unused for the past 20 years. And now they're being sold, of course, to this Greenway. This part of New Jersey, I mean, I've been here all my life, but it never stops being exciting. It never stops being wondrous. There's always a mystery. There's always unanswered questions. You know, where does this path lead? Where do these tracks go? 
I got a lot of questions. Very few answers, but a lot of questions. I've been walking out here for so long, it hurts to see it change because I love it, you know? And, and I had it to myself the whole time, basically. Now I'm gonna have to share it with all the tourists and I'll be finding a new pathway where there's no people, <laughs> you know? I'm Brian Donahue with Wheeler on Tavernez. This is Positively New Jersey. That is the first time we've ever had a camera up on Snake Hill, I can guarantee you. <laughs> the state plans to use $20 million in federal funds to begin the structural work for building that greenway.